In this video, I go over this course on how to create realistic foliage for games. This course can be found on the wingfox.com website, who have also been kind enough to grant me access to it. The course is primarily focused in the creation of realistic looking foliage and how to set them up in a game engine. The software used in the course is Blender for modeling, Photoshop, and Unity where the final assets are put together. This course is presented by Muni Rick, who is an indie developer currently developing an action RPG game. His environment art portfolio is very strong and it shows his attention to detail. Ok, so let me explain how this course is put together. The first section shows how to gather real life references and using those in Photoshop to get the color map as well as the other maps needed in order to create the plants. The course shows how to create a handful of different plants which are later put together in a level using Unity. For the first section, the instructor covers how to make the maps in Photoshop as well as how to use those in Blender to create the high poly model which is then used as a normal map. I really like this technique of taking a real life leaf and converting it into a displacement map which is then displaced using Blender. At this stage, you get a rough shape of the leaf and some of the details, but in order to get more accurate and clean results, he shows how to do a bit of sculpting in Blender to get the final normal map out of it. This step may seem like overkill to some, but it surprisingly resulted in really good results in the end, and the nice sculpted normal maps really made the leaves look a lot better. Like mentioned earlier, he shows this step for a handful of different leaves and also shows how to put all the maps together into a material using Unity. After the process of creating the different maps in high polys, there is another section strictly about creating the low poly versions. For the low polys, he pretty much traces the shapes of the textures in order to get the geometry to match and be close to the shape of the original high polys without using too many polygons. Keeping the geometry close to the textures helps with performance in a game engine as this allows for less overdraw in a game. He not only shows how to make the low poly versions, but also how to create the different levels of detail or LODs so that they are even more useful in a game environment as you would be able to switch between the levels of details depending on the distance. I gotta say I was really impressed by the attention to detail presented by the instructor. It was very clear that he takes making realistic foliage very seriously. He was very meticulous in how he placed each leaf on each plant and paid great attention to detail overall. He goes through the process for quite a few plants and then shows how to set them up in Unity while also showing how to use a special shader for plants so that they look the best as possible. After creating all the plants, he also has an entire chapter dedicated to creating a small diorama with all these plants. This section covers how to use the plants as foliage meshes in Unity, setting up the lighting in post process in order to create a very good looking portfolio render or video. I have to say I did not really think it was necessary to have an entire section to this as I thought the course was already very good with the plant creation process by itself. This added section was definitely a very welcome addition in my opinion. All in all, I think this is a very good course for creating things like small plants and even small trees. The information here is very well presented and the end results speak for themselves. The only thing I would probably knock it on is that he uses Photoshop for some of the process and while there's nothing wrong with using Photoshop, I think it would have been nice for him to have used something like Substance Painter or Designer as these programs are more widely used these days as opposed to Photoshop. Other than that, I don't really think I have anything else negative to say about this course. This is definitely for those looking to create high fidelity foliage without cutting corners on the visuals and for that I would totally recommend it. Keep in mind this is not a beginner's course which shows how to use Photoshop or Blender or Unity, so you do need to have some prior knowledge in those programs in order to follow along. I have to say I really enjoyed this course, especially the end results. I will be leaving a link in the video description for those who want to check it out. I would like to thank the folks from WingFox once more for giving me access to this course. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please let me know if there are any other courses from the WingFox website you would like me to take a look. Once again, there is a link in the video description. Okay, thank you everyone, and I hope to see you in the next video.